Some areas of Christchurch may be abandoned following February's earthquake that killed 181 people. New Zealand correspondent Dominic Schwartz visited the eastern suburb of Bexley, one of half a dozen neighbourhoods whose future hangs in the balance. From dream home to nightmare. Um, this is one of our cracks here. Shona Davies' house is being demolished. She may lose her neighbourhood as well. The September and February quakes liquefied the ground, underpinning much of Bexley, once home to 4,000 people. Houses sank up to a metre. Long-term residents say it's no surprise. This was actually swamp land, so we never thought anything would ever be built in here. Flooding has become a part of life. On the day we visit, banks are being reinforced ahead of a king tide. For Bexley, the clock is ticking. But urban planners and engineers say that all of Christchurch now has to be seen for what it is. Basically, a giant swamp. Since then, waterways have been drained, filled in and built upon. This natural river bank uh, has ripped, has it completely exploded on this line of sediment. Landscape architect Di Lucas says the damage wrought by the quakes on this 